Hello, hello, hello there, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. I am at Costco, and they have these extra large bulbs. The daffodil mix, 40 bulbs here, and Tula, Darwin Hybrid mix, 60 bulbs. But I don't see a price. I don't know, but here are the, the Costco bulbs, the long field garden bulbs that I love to buy. Well, I am excited. Why? Because I've just come back from Costco and I picked up these tulips and daffodils and I am happy with my purchase. Um, the daffodils um, are um, 40 bulbs in there and it was 20 bucks pretty much and the tulips have 60 bulbs and uh, the same price as well. Uh, yes, it is more than the uh, $13.99, but I like these bulbs because they are extra large, extra, extra large bulbs. They're really good size, and I feel that when I plant them in, that uh, they're going to naturalize much more easily than some of the other bulbs that I've gotten from Costco. And these are Darwin tulips. Darwin tulips naturalize in my garden. Um, so I am excited and I love this color mix. I think that it's going to go well with the, the um, tulips that I already have in the garden because I have a lot of yellow and red tulips in the garden. And so this is just gonna beef it up, make it look more full, rich, and um, something to look forward to. Now the daffodils are gonna be placed in the back border. And I have, of course, some from uh, Home Depot that I bought uh, this weekend as well. I had bought some tulips and daffodils from Home Depot. So that means that I can add these daffodils in other parts of the garden. Uh, I think I'm going to put some of them in the front uh, and let us uh, see some daffodil color in the front of the garden. Definitely over by my, um, my border over here where I have the pumpkins trailing. I think in that bed with the roses that the daffodils would look really, really pretty there as well. Uh, I may go back to Costco though and get some of their specialty tulips. Uh, they have those tulips that look like peonies, the an Angelica tulips. I like those and they're really full. They have a lot of um, petals to them. They almost look like peonies. I think if they still have them when I go to Costco again, I will get them and add them to that border over there where the roses are because those tulips come up a little later. Uh, whereas um, the, the tulips that I also have in the ground from last year, I know that they will come back. I will have some of them as well. So it may not be as thick on that side, but it will still look pretty. And uh, with the roses and everything, it's just going to be fantastic. I know that the roses would be finished by then. But I just wanted to um, introduce you to my additional tulips and daffodils. They're not fancy, but they are going to do the job here in my garden. And I am very excited about this, that I have them. And I have to thank you. Those of you who have joined my um, membership and uh, joined Catherine's Garden and Home. Uh, your support helps to fund this this uh, venture. 
your support uh, joining the membership helps to pay for a lot of uh, these things so I have to say thank you thank you and we're going to enjoy it and I know that you're going to enjoy the garden tours and all of the things that we're looking forward to for spring so that brings me to the point that we're going to have to start planning what are you doing for your um, in your garden what are you doing are you planning what's going on with you what are you doing and let me know down below give me um, some information share with us uh, how is your garden growing that's the question how is your garden growing and are you harvesting and starting to plant have you purchased any tulips yet and if you did uh, let me know what kind and where did you get them and are you satisfied with them and are you happy and ready uh, for a planting and are you looking for the fall planting season i am at costco and they have these extra large bulbs the daffodil mix 40 bulbs here and tula darwin hybrid mix 60 bulbs but i don't see a price i don't know but here are the the costco bulbs the long field garden bulbs that i love to buy so i'm thinking of um which one is 13.99 for them Some of these colors I've had before and they've been very, very good. But this new idea of landscape bulb tulips, I think they're $19.79. So $19 and you get 60 bulbs and uh, 60 daffodils. So I think I'm going to try this out um, this time. I think this is a good deal and it's a mix. And they said that they're extra, extra large bulbs. So, this one happens to be open. Let's take a look. Oh, those bulbs look pretty decent. That size looks really good. So, I think I'm going to get this one here. This looks like a good mix. Yeah, so this is what is here at Costco for the bulbs. And they have other things too, um, but this is what I'm going to do. They also have the alliums, and this is a different type of allium. I I'm interested in this because um, the 40 alliums, ultra purple, hmm, I can't see it, I have my glasses on, but um, that looks good. I like the white. So I might just take one of these too as well. Um, Alliums seem to do very well for me. All right, so let's see what else they have here. That's not a tulip and not a daffodil. Oh, they have um, miscari also. That is a bulb that is earlier in the season. You can get miscari. And uh, they also have crocus. That might be interesting to add some more crocus. This is really interesting too, the fritillia. Uh, fritillaria. I think that's how they pronounce it. So let's see what else do we want to get let me look on this side now too um we have this one too that's a little different hmm. and they have hyacinth I think I'm going to just stick to the tulips and I think 
these bulbs look big, so I'm going to go for this. And the Darwin tulips are um, easy to come back again. They do uh, perennialize much better in my yard. So I'm going to get one of these and one of these. So I am at Lowe's here at the garden center here at Lowe's because I decided that I wanted to see what they had to offer. And um, right now Lowe's has um, a lot of mums. That is what they are offering here at Lowe's, the mums. And I love those crotons, they are so pretty. But we can kind of walk around and look and see the different moms. Here moms are expensive. Oh my goodness. Look at that. $9.98. Oh, for that, that's pretty though. What a pretty mom. But it's already open and that's not how you want to buy your mom's already open because then they're going to just fade right away but you want to get them fairly closed like this um, and then that would give it a chance to open up and you'll get more out of your your mom's so let's keep on walking because i think i see Rhododendrons. Look at these rhodos. Thirty-six. Ooh. Yeah, but they have rhodos, and they also have uh, these perennials. This is so. They're advertising the fall color. They have these proven winners containers. Um, hmm. Not very much. They do have these. I think these are azaleas. Yeah, azaleas. These are pretty. Let's see if they have anything on sale. Mm. Oh, check this out. This looks like a little fig. The uh, Chicago Hardy fig. Wow, that's very small. Now, the house plants are beautiful here at Rose. They are so pretty.
538 potted mix. Now this potting mix. Hmm, I don't see the prices, but they are very nice and healthy looking. I would like something for my room. I don't see anything though. These ferns are pretty. In my um, journal, the Intentional Garden Journal for 2022, um, I'm going to put some notes down on this about um, planning for the winter, in the winter time, planning for spring, you know, uh, what am I looking forward to? So we're going to have a lot of dreaming to do and writing in our journals. And then <clears throat> I am planning on creating our new and upcoming 2023 journal. Yes. So that we can start to plan also and think about uh, what we want for the next year the next growing season coming up so all of that is in the works and it's because of you because you have been watching the videos subscribing to the channel hitting the notification bells making the comments coming in on the lies and having fun with me here at Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together Catherine's garden and home. That's right. Grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's garden and home. So I say thank you, my gardening friends, for making this such an enjoyable time. Thank you so much for joining me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. And if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. How are things going in your, your garden? How are, how, what are you up to? What are you doing? Um, leave a comment down below. Have you bought your tulips yet? And if so, what is going to be your color scheme? What are you going to add and uh, subtract in your garden? Have you started planning? Leave a, a comment down below and let me know. Well, thank you again for watching and see you next time right here in Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Bye. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.